Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Fulcrum Air begins drone enabled power line repair work. Matternet pushes boundaries of drone delivery. And USAF boasts successful aero hypersonic air launch. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Fulcrum Air begins drone-enabled power line repair work. Fulcrum Air power line construction and maintenance has begun using its E7500 heavy lifting drone on the work site, offering slung loads up to 120 pounds. The company put its drone to work with K-Line Line Maintenance and Construction in the Canadian Wilderness, rebuilding a 138 kV line being reconstructed in the Great White North. K-Line contracted with Fulcrum Air in order to sling equipment over the terrain along the way, making 19 drone trips to carry 1,800 pounds of tools, materials, and components in six hours of operational time. The aerial travel allowed K-Line to avoid expensive damage to nearby wetlands and wildlife habitats while minimizing the noise, cost, and footprint that would have been created with a helicopter. Brian Edall, VP of Business Development at K-Line, said, quote, Utilizing Fulcrum Air's heavy lift drone allowed us to safely import material and export salvage material efficiently, end quote, thanks to the ease of low-cost aerial transportation. Quote, crews were able to navigate the rough terrain and icy slopes safely without having to carry any materials, end quote. Similar operations are on their way, with Fulcrum Air hard at work getting type certification for their E7500's external load capability. Approvals are expected sometime in mid-2023. And after the break, Air New Zealand Volt Aero Partnership announced. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Air New Zealand Volt Aero Partnership announced. Volt Aero, the French aerospace concern about the business of developing the Casio family of hybrid electric aircraft, has been named one of Air New Zealand's Mission Next Gen Aircraft Demonstration Partners. The incident speaks to Air New Zealand's interest in Volt Aero's Casio platform as a possible solution to its sustainable fleet ambitions. Volt Aero and Casio align with the Kiwi Air Carrier's goal of collaborating with aerospace innovators for purpose of hastening the advent of zero-emission passenger and cargo flights. Rocket Lab scrubs first electron rocket from U.S. soil. After 32 successful launches from its New Zealand Launch Complex 1 facility, Rocket Lab, the publicly traded American Space Launch Concern, has staged and scrubbed the first launch of its highly successful electron rocket from U.S. soil. The inaugural U.S. launch was to have been made on December 18th from Rocket Lab's Launch Complex 2 at Virginia's Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport. Regrettably, unfavorable winds aloft precluded safe spaceflight operations within the 18 to 20 hundred hour EST launch window. North Dakota Air National Guard 178th Attack Squadron honored. 
The North Dakota Air National Guard's 178th Attack Squadron has been recognized as the General Atomics Remotely Piloted Aircraft Squadron of the Year. The honor was conferred at the Fargo Air Museum during a December 9th event hosted by the Mitchell Institute, an independent nonpartisan aerospace research organization established to guide U.S. defense policy. The award is presented annually to the U.S. military squadron that distinguishes itself by expertly and effectively deploying remotely piloted aircraft in meritorious service. H3 Dynamics and Carbonics join hands for Aussie Hydrogen UAV. Australian UAV manufacturer Carbonics has joined hands with H3 Dynamics to develop a domestic hydrogen electric hybrid VTOL UAV. The new aircraft will be a first for the Australian continent, likely utilizing H3's recent developments in the field of hydrogen electric propulsion systems. Recent developments saw the company's nacelle technology be refined into a compact, high-output addition to any fixed-wing UAV, which will allow Carbonics UAVs to extend their range and performance manifold over an equivalent battery-powered aircraft. And that was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Matternet pushes boundaries of drone delivery. In 2017, Matternet became the world's first company to be authorized to perform commercial beyond visual line of sight drone operations over cities in Switzerland. In 2019, the company partnered with UPS to launch drone delivery services in the U.S. and together started the first revenue drone delivery operations in the U.S. In 2022, Matternet M2 reportedly became the first drone delivery system to achieve standard type certification by the FAA. On December 12, 2022, Matternet announced it had commenced test operations along a 5-kilometer BV loss route over the west-central Swiss city of Zurich. Subject route, the longest of its type, will be used to transport diagnostic samples between Zurich's Tramley and Vade hospitals, both part of Stadspital Zurich, a municipal hospital owned by the city of Zurich. Matternet founder and CEO Andreas Raptopoulos remarked, quote, Launching this new service for Stadspital Zurich is an important moment for Matternet, but also for the future of both healthcare and logistic services. Leveraging the longest urban BV loss route to transport biological samples for diagnostic testing on demand changes the way that hospitals and hospital systems can approach patient care, all while creating new efficiencies that can improve patient experiences and ensure they keep peace with the demands of the 21st century." End quote. And after these messages, USAF boasts successful aero hypersonic air launch. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. USAF boasts successful aero hypersonic air launch. The Air Force announced the completion of its first operational hypersonic missile, designated the Air Launch Rapid Response Weapon. Lockheed Martin's AGM 183A Aero was tested off the coast of Southern California, launched from an underwing pylon from a B 52H from the 412th Test Wing. Their prototype was launched at altitude before accelerating to five times the speed of sound and self-destructing at the end of its designated flight path. 
Quote, the Aero team successfully designed and tested an air-launched hypersonic missile in five years, end quote, said Brigadier General Jason Bartolome, Program Executive Officer for the Air Force's Armament Directorate. The successful flight test is promising for a country lagging behind near-peer militaries who have invested in hypersonic munitions. The U.S. has spent middling effort on developing its hypersonic capabilities for one reason or another, from excessive cost to unproven capability. Any rationale about efficacy may be harder to maintain in the face of recent performance of the Russian caliber, which, though imperfect, has proven the general utility of ordnance that can travel at Mach 5 and evade all conventional air defenses. With China and Russia further along in hypersonic development, lawmakers have grown antsy for a good old game of keeping up with the Joneses. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.